Hello, my name is Father Anthony Urban. Uh, don't look like a priest right now because I'm not in my blacks. I'm out with my dog, taking him for a run. And just want to offer kind of a recap of the homily that I offered this past weekend. Uh, the Canaanite woman who pleads for her daughter. She's been tormented by a demon. And there's a few things that she teaches us uh, about prayer. One is perseverance, that when she makes her request known to Jesus and he doesn't respond immediately to her, she doesn't go away. She persists. And so I think that's a good carryover for us into our own daily life, is that amidst uh, when we pray about something or for something, sometimes we don't receive the response that we desire or in the timing that we would like it to be. Another thing that she uh, teaches us is faith. She uh, addressed Jesus as Lord, Son of David. And so this is a, a title, or really a reality, of who Jesus is. And so uh, it's important to uh, realize, you know, we go to the right person for the right needs. One of the analogies I often use with uh, confession especially is that, uh, we, you know, we go to the doctor and they can't start helping us until we tell them what hurts or what's wrong or what's been going on. Same is true with Jesus. Um, obviously he knows the needs of our heart before we even ask him, but he desires for us to be in relationship with him. And so uh, that's the, I think the difficulty we face in our prayer life with God is because sometimes we don't get the response as I mentioned. And uh, sometimes the things we bring to him we're afraid because um, maybe it's something from our past that has been a big hurt for us for a very long time. And so it, it can be really tough to uh, bring that to the surface. And sometimes we don't know how to word it you know, to God. So we just, we express it the best way we can. And we don't have to be perfect in our prayer. Uh, we just need to be very simple with him. And I think that's the, the last point is that what this Canaanite woman does for us she prays with humility. The response that Jesus gives um, he kind of uh, addresses her in, an, in a very unique way, uh, kind of talking about um, the scraps that fall from the master's table and even the dogs eat them. And so, um, so this Canaanite woman, she's not a Jewish person. She's uh, outside of that, uh, that faith tradition. And so... Um, Jesus responds at the very end, woman, great is your faith. You know, let it be done as you wish. So I encourage you uh, in, into this coming week, if there's something that uh, has been on your mind or your heart, uh, something that's been nagging at you, um, you know, turn to Jesus with it. He really does desire to uh, be with us in our needs, in our hurts, in our joys. And maybe to uh, conclude, um, the in a comical way um there's a youtube video it's uh if you search for it's not the nail uh you'll find it very quickly so it portrays a woman who has a nail stuck in her head and it's pretty obvious and i can't remember if it's her husband or a friend that's talking to her about her struggles you know that she's got some pain that she um other things it's been probably about three or four years since i saw it last but it's rather humorous because I think sometimes we know what is hurting us the most, but we're afraid to address it. And we're, we're, we're maybe afraid to address it because it brings up a lot of hurt. And, or sometimes we don't know how to navigate that, that area of life that, we're, that we have struggled with. So I just encourage you, uh, I'll try and block the sun out there. There we go. Um, uh, so I just encourage you this coming week, uh, the, the past two weekends, we've had some very beautiful prayers from St. Peter last weekend, the words, Lord, save me, as he's sinking into the water. And uh, this weekend, we have the words, is just that very simple prayer, Lord, help me. So uh, those, those, those prayers are very profound, very helpful. So I hope that you have a good week, and uh, please, be, please know of my prayers for you that we may all, uh, you know, whether you're in my parish or you're watching from elsewhere, that all of us may bring our needs uh, to Jesus 
with those three aspects of prayer that this Canaanite woman teaches us. Perseverance, faith, and humility. May God bless you, those you love, and this coming week.